Hopefully you've now seen the Who Sees What series that Salesforce put together of nine videos, very detailed. Uh, this is the work steps for using organization-wide defaults to allow uh, users to only see opportunity records that they own. Uh, so to be able to test that, what we want to do is to go in on a single user. We want to be able to use the login feature. Uh, if it's not enabled, uh, here are the quick steps to do that. What you do is you click, uh, this is looking on login access policies, uh, select enabled, um, and save it. Refreshing your users, you'll find that you now have a login feature. The other place that you want to fix real quick is there's a, a, a session settings. Uh, and if you look up session, session settings, uh, make sure that uh, force re-login after login as user. Uh, if, if, it's, if it's checked, then you actually have to, to re-login. It's, uh, again, that, that's a security issue that your team may have figured out. Uh, but in this case, I have it unchecked. So from the, this login user, I can, let me go take a look at what app, uh, access to opportunities they already have. So by bringing them up and looking at their opportunities tab, I can look at, at uh, all opportunities and see in fact that they have many of those. So I can then log out as a user. I've, I've tested the fact that limited user has access. Uh, it returns me then back to, uh, to kind of my org ag again. And what I can then do is go out to, um, and what I'm going to do is to go to the, the, sh the sharing settings. This is part of the security area. And you get to shared settings. What I want to do is to look at the opportunities. I can click edit here just to see all of them. This is a very powerful, uh, you know, option feature. So do this only really in a sandbox or I'm using, a, again, an org um, a test, a, you know, a development org so I can comfortably kind of play around. But um, what I want to do is I'm going to look at the, uh, the opportunity and I'm going to say I have some options here. I can, it's currently public read, write. I can have it so people can only read them. But if what I want to do is to make it private so they can only see opportunities that they own, I can mark it private, and I can click Save. It's going to say there are sharing rules, and this can take some significant time. We're going to say OK. You'll then get this note that's saying there's uh, been changes happening. And if you, if you look down in this list, what it says is that uh, Salesforce will receive a, or you know, this this org will receive a, an email when the operation finishes. So what I can do is to peek back out and I see yes that in fact um, there's a message here that says the request has been completed, uh, which means that we can go back here and go back, look at our users. And we can see that um, there's an, an admin and there's also a standard user. Um, and so what I've got is uh, if I log into the standard user, so I'm, I'm set up as the unlimited user. If I look in the opportunities tab and I look at all opportunities, uh, there aren't any. Um, now, if I create a new one, and I say, great, here's an opportunity, uh, and we're just going to call, um, you know, I can, any number of things here, right? We can just, uh, if we just cl click the required fields and say, all right, we're going to save it. It's going to be at a stage of prospecting, um, and it's got a name. Um, and we say, okay, let's save that. When I go back to the opportunities uh, recently viewed, or even in this case, all, of, all opportunities, uh, what I'm now going to get is just the one that I currently own. Uh, if I log out and I log back, or I'm now basically in uh, uh, the admin role again, navigating to all opportunities in this profile, 
uh, I'll see all of the opportunities, including the name when I create it. So this is just a way to make sure that for some users, you can limit access to all objects uh, using the, uh, um, the organization-wide defaults. Thanks for listening.